the distribution of new $500 checks is underway, with recipients set to receive notifications regarding their eligibility within just three days. Furthermore, in select cities, $1,000 monthly checks are being dispersed. However, the landscape of guaranteed income programs is not without controversy. In one instance, a city is facing legal action over allegations of racism in its program, while in another jurisdiction, efforts are being made to outright ban such initiatives, citing legal concerns. Despite these challenges, some cities like Minneapolis are showcasing notable success stories stemming from their guaranteed income endeavors. However, the fate of future programs remains uncertain amid ongoing debates over their efficacy and fairness. Turning to the topic of stimulus checks, they are effectively defunct as tax season takes precedence. Any forthcoming financial assistance may take the form of tax refunds or rebates rather than labeled as stimulus checks. Additionally, there is no indication that Social Security beneficiaries will receive a fourth stimulus check. The controversy surrounding guaranteed income programs extends beyond legal challenges, with questions raised about their ethical implications. The notion of targeting specific demographic groups for financial assistance has sparked debates over whether such measures are necessary support for marginalized communities or perpetuate discrimination based on race and gender. In light of these developments, where do you stand on the issue? Are these programs a vital tool for addressing socioeconomic disparities, or do they risk exacerbating divisions within society? Republican lawmakers in Arizona, joined by their counterparts in states like Iowa and South Dakota, have taken a firm stance against what they perceive as unearned entitlements by introducing legislation aimed at banning guaranteed income programs. These bills seek to prohibit any county or municipality within their jurisdictions from offering payments to residents that are not earned through traditional employment or means-tested welfare programs. The proposed legislation, exemplified by Arizona's House Bill 2375, defines a guaranteed income program as any initiative where individuals receive payments that are not tied to work or specific conditions and can be utilized for any purpose. Under this definition, programs providing direct cash assistance, regardless of recipient's employment status or income levels, would fall under the ban. Critics of guaranteed income programs argue that such initiatives represent an inefficient and potentially wasteful use of taxpayer dollars as they provide financial support without requiring recipients to contribute through work or other means. They argue that these programs could disincentivize workforce participation and perpetuate dependency on government assistance. However, proponents of guaranteed income programs point to their proven effectiveness in addressing poverty and economic insecurity. For example, in Minneapolis, a guaranteed basic income program provided recipients with $500 monthly payments over the course of a year. Despite receiving this financial support, participants did not reduce their workforce participation, indicating that the program did not discourage employment. Instead, it helped improve financial stability and alleviate stress for recipients. Moreover, pilot programs in other regions, such as Harris County, Texas, have shown promising results. In Harris County, a pilot income program plans to notify selected low-income applicants within three days regarding their eligibility for $500 monthly payments. This rapid response time underscores the potential efficiency and effectiveness of such programs in providing timely support to those in need. In Los Angeles County, a three-year program offering $1,000 monthly payments further illustrates the growing momentum behind guaranteed income initiatives. California, in particular, has emerged as a leader in implementing such programs, with numerous initiatives underway across the state. Despite the success stories and growing interest in guaranteed income programs, the debate over their efficacy and appropriateness continues. Questions remain about the potential expansion of these programs to different demographic groups, including Social Security recipients, and their long-term impact on workforce participation and economic mobility. Ultimately, the discussion surrounding guaranteed income programs reflects broader debates about the role of government in addressing poverty and inequality.
While critics raise concerns about dependency and fiscal responsibility, proponents argue that such programs offer a more equitable and compassionate approach to social welfare. Your thoughts on this complex issue?